Starting today, I'm turning this house into a mid-century modern getaway. This is what happens when you let a woodworker flip a house. And today's video is brought to us by Squarespace. I've taken a huge gamble in the middle of skyrocketing housing prices and soaring interest rates to create a dream Airbnb. So what does it take to turn a quaint house into a high-end Airbnb? We're about to find out. We spent a year looking for the perfect house we could transform into a showcase of my woodworking and art. And after weeks of planning, designing, and curating the perfect mid-century modern pieces, I'm finally ready to show you how we're gonna turn each room into an artistic retreat. And stick around, because I got some great news for the budget-minded and beginning woodworkers. So why this house? The stone wall, the open layout, the beautiful patio, and the small size of this house is perfect for what I have in mind. And I'm gonna show you all of that in detail shortly. Who knows how long this YouTube thing is gonna last, so I'm starting to think about the future, and this is my way of dipping my toes into the real estate game, while at the same time creating a gallery of my work. And if this works out, I hope to buy more properties and provide affordable housing right here in my community. But we are a long ways away from thinking about that. This is actually a terrible time to buy a house. Prices have skyrocketed, interest rates are at a 23 year high, and Airbnb rentals are way down. But I've got a unique plan that I think is going to work, and we'll talk about that after the tour. It's a good thing I don't have a financial planner or business manager to tell me I shouldn't do this. What have I done? You gotta take a chance, right? I'm betting on myself here. So the stakes are high. If this doesn't work out, I just screwed up our retirement. But I believe in myself, and I think I got a really good game plan. I love woodworking and I love making videos and I really think you're going to enjoy the journey. This is the biggest thing I have ever attempted. I thrive under pressure and I believe in myself. I think we got this. We got this. We got this? We got this. We got this. We got this. I sure hope we got this. We got this. Before we go over the game plan, let's take a tour. This is the living room. There is no dining room, so it's just one big open layout. I love the stone wall and the fireplace here. So we're gonna quickly go over what I plan on building. So we're gonna buy a couch. I'm gonna build some end tables. I'm gonna build an entertainment center for a TV over here. I'm going to build a records player stand over here. Since there is no dining room, we're gonna do a little built-in right here. Plus you have this little bar right here that leads into the kitchen. I'm gonna build some stools here and then we're also going to redo this counter and make this all look really cool. On the other side of the living room over here, there's this cool little shelving unit and it's cool, but I can make it cooler. So I'm gonna tear that out and rebuild that probably out of walnut. Everything, this whole house is gonna be made out of walnut and some cherry and some hickory, but mostly walnut. And then possibly some lamps in here, but those are some of the major projects for the living room. I'm gonna show you the kitchen. Before we go into the kitchen, I forgot the wall. I wanna make a big wooden sculpture that's gonna hang right here. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I've got time. That's gonna look awesome. All right, now the kitchen. So the kitchen visually, for what I have in mind, needs a lot of work. But the projects that I'm gonna show on camera is like cutting boards, knife blocks, possibly kitchen counters. I think we're gonna keep the cabinets but redo the doors. And so the flooring, the walls, and the ceiling, that's all gonna be done off camera. I'm not gonna show remodeling projects. I'm gonna to stick to strictly woodworking within this series. There's a ton of other amazing YouTube channels for remodeling, and I don't wanna get into that. I'm gonna let the experts handle that, and I'm gonna to stick to woodworking. Probably redo the shelf here. Some maybe some piece of art that can go here. The idea is this is a gallery of my work. So not just furniture, but also pieces of art. So I think that is it for the kitchen. I'm gonna show you this little, it, this is a mudroom back here. And I think it could be a cool breakfast nook. This room is really small and it needs a lot of work and it's made to be a little entryway or a mudroom but I'm thinking a nice little, just a nice place to have your coffee and eat your toast. So I'll, a lot of work, it's gonna be a while before I get to this room, but I got a plan. 
So this is the first of the two bedrooms. The floors are gonna be sanded and refinished, not on camera. And they're also going to redo the walls. This blue is a little bit too intense. So what I am thinking is we're gonna paint three of the walls and then one of the walls is gonna be an accent wall and have some wood paneling. And that is where the bed is gonna go. I'm going to make the bed and then I'm also gonna make the two nightstands and some lamps that go on there. And then over here, since this is going to be an Airbnb, I don't think it needs a full on dresser. So instead we're gonna do a built-in within this closet. So a couple of drawers, some shelves, and a place to hang your stuff. I haven't decided if I want it to stand out or if I wanna make some doors that are gonna go there. And we are definitely getting rid of the curtains and going with blinds. There's two bedrooms and we're gonna do in completely different styles. So the bed and the nightstands in this room are gonna be different than the bed and nightstands in the next room. Pretty much the exact same scenario. In this bedroom, we're gonna redo the walls, the floor, we're gonna have an accent wall, we're gonna make a bed, we're gonna do the nightstands, and we're gonna do the built-in closet. We're gonna build everything in the other bedroom first, then do the living room, and then come back to here. That way we can at least have a bedroom and living room usable. So for a while, this might just be a one bedroom Airbnb. Bathroom is getting gutted to the studs starting next Thursday. We got a guy. So basically what we're going to film in here is the making of a new vanity and then a shelving unit where a medicine cabinet would be. We got a guy. I got a guy. It has this really cool patio area. It needs some work. We need a new fence over here and we're going to redo the decking, but there's some, um, it's kind of like a, some stonework on the ground here. I think this would be a really cool place to hang out. So lots of projects out here, like chairs and tables and outdoor furniture, whiskey flights. It's getting windy, let's go back inside. There is this laundry room, which is way too big to be just a laundry room. So we're thinking about getting like a stackable washer and dryer and then make this into a little office. So in here I can make a desk and other office needs. Lots of woodworking projects in here as well. Next is the garage. This is one of my favorite things about this place and you're gonna love this. Check this out. And this is the garage where I'm gonna keep the Impala. We're gonna come back to the garage here in a little bit. I got something cool for you. The game plan. This isn't going to be just another ordinary Airbnb. This is gonna be a high-end artistic retreat. This is gonna be a gallery of my work where you can come and stay and judge my work firsthand. And every piece is going to be for sale. So if you stay here, you can actually leave with the furniture if you like it. But you have to pay for it, of course. There'll be plans for nearly every project, so you can build along if you want to. You'll be able to buy the plans individually, or you can become a Patreon member and just have access to all the plans that we're gonna make for all the projects here in this house. There are going to be a couple different Airbnb packages where you can buy an experience to come to my shop and work on a project with me. I haven't worked out all the details yet, but we're gonna make sure it's accessible to all skill levels. And we could be making a cutting board or a toolbox or a birdhouse. I haven't worked that out yet, but I am going to offer packages where you can come hang out and we can do some woodworking together. How cool is that? This is going to be a long process before this place is even rentable. I'm guessing about a year, but the cool thing is you get to experience the journey from right here, from bare minimum to rentable one video at a time. I'm giving myself the goal one year from today, this place will be rentable. What do you think, Dan? Can we do it? Can I sleep in the shed? You can sleep in the shed. We didn't even show the shed, but they're actually, they're pillows in the shed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're good. You're all set. And here's the kicker. This is going to be my second shop. This is going to be my budget-friendly and basic woodworking tool shop. So sometimes we're gonna build projects over at the big fancy shop with all the big fancy tools, and sometimes we're gonna build projects here with the basic bare minimum tools. All those cheap Amazon tools that we bought, we brought over here. Some people wanna see big fancy tools, and some people wanna see budget-friendly tools. So now we can make videos for everybody. How cool is that? We've already started the first project and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek here in a second. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Squarespace has supported me through all these 
crazy adventures. We're heading right into 2024, and if you're a maker, you need a web presence, and Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. Maybe you're looking to get clients, or maybe you just need a beautiful website to showcase your work. Or maybe you wanna create a private password protected community of like-minded artists, and you can do that with Squarespace. With their Fluid Engine, everything is just drag and drop. There's no design or coding experience needed. Your website will look good and be readable on mobile, tablet, and desktop. You can sell both physical and digital items with Squarespace, like I do, and you can easily hook your Squarespace site up to print-on-demand services like Printful, like I do. Squarespace makes my life easier and it can make your life easier. So head to squarespace.com slash make something and you can have a beautiful website up and running in a couple of hours, not days, hours. Links down below. All right, we've already started on some bar stools for this counter. That video is coming out in a couple of days. I am absolutely thrilled with how they look. Daniel? They look pretty sick, babe. They're sexy, they're sexy. They're big beefy boys. I'm a big beefy boy. When I say we, I'm also referring to my wife, Kelly, who's the co-designer. We've been throwing all of our energy into interior design and learning feng shui. So this is gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna need you to comment down below, where's Kelly? So we can convince her to get on camera and share her ideas with us. Where's Kelly? Where's Kelly? Kelly! I envision this place being so cool that you'll want to come stay here and work with me in my shop. Toledo might not be known as a vacation destination, but there are lots of cool things to do nearby. And the reason any of this is possible is because of all the people who have supported me over the last 10 years of this crazy woodworking journey. And I especially want to thank my Patreon members. I can't even begin to explain how crazy excited I am about this. My brain is so cloudy right now with a million thoughts going through at a million miles an hour. Let me know what you want to see out of this series. Thank you. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. You can do it. Do your crash zoom and make something. Cut. That's it. That's a wrap.